let's dive into the second part of this video. Before we begin, let's do a quick recap of what we covered in the first part about food wastage. We learned how to identify spoiled food like color, texture, bad taste and bad smell. We also explored why food gets spoiled which can happen due to natural chemical reactions in the food, tiny microorganisms or insects attacking the food, improper handling, improper storage and improper transportation of food and vegetables and fruits. With that fresh in mind, let's continue with this. So we saw some of the ways in which food wastage can happen. And you know, overall the wastage can be classified into two categories or two types of wastages are there. The first one, let's call it quantitative wastage. Why is it called quantitative wastage? Because the wastage happens in quantities or eatable or good quality food is going waste. And why does this happen? This happens majorly because of wrong farming practices or wrong methods of farming. For example, if you do inadequate threshing, some of the seeds will remain with the husk. You will not be able to extract the whole seeds or the whole grains if the threshing is inadequate. There goes the food or there goes the grain which is good quality but unable to retrieve. Then hand sowing of seeds. If you are sowing the seeds by hand, there is a high chance of only few seeds becoming sapling and growing into a proper crop. Some of the seeds which might not be properly immersed in the soil will not pick up roots and will eventually die or will, will not even become a sapling and into a full crop. Again, there is food going waste, right? Good quality seed is going waste there. And improper storage. Here again, the good grains, the high quality grains which are being improperly stored get spoiled due to moisture or attack of the insect due to moisture or without proper storage, right? And it's not just the wrong methods of farming that leads to quantitative wastage. It is also the custom of offering and serving too much food at parties and weddings and maybe even your birthday parties you might have seen. There is too much food being prepared and a lot of it goes into waste. And where they spoiled food? Of course not. They were good quality food that was prepared in too much or offered to a plate in too much quantity that got thrown out. So this is quantitative wastage where eatable or good quality food is going waste. The other type of wastage is qualitative wastage. This happens when the food becomes non-edible or loses its quality. It's not just about the food going bad but it's also about losing what it makes good for us. Right? Why do we eat food? We eat food because food provides us with nutrients. And if the food is devoid of such nutrients, what's the point of eating that food? Or we can say that that food is waste. Let's look at some of the reasons why this happened. First up, using a wrong method to protect food. If bread or apples aren't stored properly or protected properly, they can grow mold and become spoiled, completely inedible. We all know that feeling when you reach for a piece of bread and it's all covered in this green first right? Not good. Excessive use of preservatives can also make food inedible. While preservatives are meant to protect food, but overdoing it can mess with the quality and make it unsafe for eat. It will have long term health impacts. You wouldn't know that immediately, but it will start spoiling the health in a longer period of time. Another big one and the most obvious one is overcooking. Once a food is burned or overcooked, it's pretty much ruined, right? Definitely not something you want to eat like this roti here. And here is something that might be a surprise to you. Yes, washing vegetables after cutting them is not good. It might seem harmless, but doing this actually washes away most of the nutrients. Sure, it won't harm you to eat it, but the food loses its main purpose. What is it to give us nutrients and honestly what's the point of eating a food that doesn't nourish us total wastage a qualitative wastage then there is mishandling sometimes perfect food gets spoiled because it's handled improperly for example if grains or vegetables aren't stored properly or are left open and like this it can absorb moisture get attacked by insects or microorganisms once that happens they are no longer good to eat 
And finally, the miscalculating the time needed to transport food can also cause waste. Take milk for example or fish for example. If it's not transported quickly enough or stored at the right temperature while transporting, it can even spoil before it reaches the consumer. That's qualitative wastage of food. That could have been consumed but now it's ruined. So whether it is bond rotis, moldy bread or milk on bad, all these are examples of how food can lose its quality and go to waste. It's sad, right? Especially when we know how valuable the food is. Now here is the most important and the most relevant question. How can you stop food wastage and spoilage? You know, let me tell you one thing. There is only one person who can stop food wastage and spoilage today. And who is that? That's you. As younger generation, it's crucial that you take a stand and pledge to make a difference. Think about it. Every little action you take can create a big impact. So how do we take this pledge? By now, you know how to identify spoiled food, why food get wasted and the different types of wastage. So let's make a promise. Pledge to stop food wastage and spoiling and commit to it. Let's begin. So I'll finish what's on my plate. No more wasting food just because I've taken too much. I'll take only what I can eat. It's better to take less and go for seconds than to waste food. I'll buy only what I truly need. No more unnecessary grocery shopping that leads to spoiled food if you can't store properly. No overcooking. I'll cook just enough and avoid burning or overcooking food. I will check expiry dates because expired food often end up in trash cans. I will use leftovers smartly. A little creativity can turn yesterday's food into something new and delicious today. I will store food properly, whether it's refrigerating leftovers or keeping grains in airtight containers, I'll make sure food stays fresh. From this moment onward, you should pledge to take these actions seriously. You'll make every effort to stop food wastage and spoilage, not just for yourself, but for the whole world around you because every small steps counts, right? So just start from today.